Urban outdoor enthusiasts have a new place to hike, bike, or walk thanks to the completion of the Pecos McLeod Trailhead along the Flamingo Arroyo Trail. A group of trail lovers and nearby residents were on hand as the Pecos McLeod Trailhead was officially dedicated to the community and opened to the public. This trailhead provides convenient access to the 11 mile long Flamingo Arroyo Trail system. The, the, the shade, the shade and the, the shelter, that is nice. The, the, the shelters are very nice. It's almost like a Ventura effect and the fact that it's a nice little place to hang out and recuperate a little bit. but. Uh, but I think, I think having this trail here, I think it's, it's improved our neighborhood overall, and I, I'm happy to see that, that, um, that money is being spent to beautify our little community. Providing connectivity to the community, this trailhead was made possible with federal funding and a couple complicated land swaps. But best of all is the cost to the taxpayers. This project literally costs the taxpayer uh, nothing. The actual construction and design was and management of the construction was funded by the SNPLMA, the Southern Nevada Public Lands Management Act. Uh, and the land itself is what, three what we call remnant parcels because the roads here were realigned and it left some odd shaped pieces. So this site is actually three parcels that are left over that were sitting here doing nothing. And we give this to you and it was our great honor to work here. A trio of artists created the structures and trail enhancements, a true work of public art. Much of their inspiration was drawn from Native Americans in the Southwest, specifically the Paiute tribe style of basketry and shade structures. In addition to the towering steel shelters and archways, indigenous desert landscaping and rubble salvage from the demolished Stardust Hotel will add to the experience for all those who blaze this trail. We were a team and everybody contributed. We all have different strengths and we all contributed and worked together for seven years. This, this drinking fountain that we see behind us is uh, in a sense a metaphor for this project. When a person drinks from this fountain, the water that kisses their lips goes down and irrigates the cottonwood tree that you see in the background. This chunk of rubble is actually from the pool at the Stardust Hotel that was imploded a few years ago. All along the Arroyo, they typically dumped rubble to fill in, creating the problem we have now with the flooding. But we wanted to bring some of the rubble into the, into the, uh, the, the project uh, as artifact. Well, I think the project turned out great, and I, I think the the design relates very well to the history of the area, uh, the history of the indigenous people that once thrived along the banks of the Arroyo. The entire trail system uses much of the man-made and natural areas along the Flamingo Wash. The Flamingo Arroyo Trail is part of a county-wide trail plan and people can now follow a pathway from the Wetlands Park nearly all the way to UNLV. As I venture out now, I see more and more use. The main thing is these are for the people here of Clark County and we really hope they use them.